probably one of the most unexpected releases of 2020 and maybe even ever. Here we have John Halstead. I don't think anybody saw this guy coming. I mean, I certainly didn't. We knew we were going to get more next-gen haulers, but we thought the next one would be Cruz Ramirez's because it was leaked in a Mattel.com listing for an assortment of haulers. But lo and behold, literally out of nowhere came the next-gen Synergy hauler named John Halstead. And don't get me wrong, I am not complaining. I love this release. And I love that it was a surprise. It adds an element of mystique to collecting cars. And I really do enjoy that. So welcome back, guys, to another Disney docket presentation. I hope everybody's having a great day. And I hope you guys are excited for this review. I hope you guys are as excited as I am because, you know, haulers are great in and of themselves. But this one just seems special because of how unexpected it was. I got this guy from a Facebook seller, even though he is exclusive to Walmart. I simply haven't been going to many stores lately because I am so busy with my three jobs. And yeah, that doesn't even include YouTube. I have three jobs and also the pandemic. I've been limiting how many stores I go to, even though I have been going to some. But Walmart, you know what? I was like, I'm not going there. I'm just going to get this guy and not have to worry about him. So I'm super pumped to get into the review. So let's do it here. So far, he's only been found in the U.S., by the way. No Canada yet. But hopefully soon. And hopefully sooner rather than later, haulers will be sold at more places than Walmart. Because obviously Walmart is not a thing in Europe or Australia or Asia, etc., etc. So you have John Halstead Hauler. Got the typical Blue Desert packaging. On the back here, I really like the prototype stock image that they use. If you notice, this hexagonal pattern that runs throughout him is way more defined and prominent than on the actual die cast cab itself. I mean, we'll be able to take a look at it when we unbox him, but it certainly isn't as visible as it is here on the back of the package. And you know what? I think that's a good call because this is a little bit flamboyant. It's a little bit much, but changes do happen. Like also, I feel like with this yellow, it's a little bit more golden. Whereas on here, it's just not as shiny. Like look at how metallic that looks there. And this is just kind of like a flat yellow, but still looks really cool. And there is Eric Breaker, the next gen Synergy Racer. John Halstead Hauler, John Halstead Remoke. Camion John Halstead. <laughs> love all the languages. You gotta love it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The days of showing other releases on the back are long gone. There used to be so much. There used to be like a description, like at least three other haulers you could find, but no more, no mas. So we're just gonna crack right into them and just review them. You know what? Not even gonna wait. So that probably took longer than it should have, but here is John and he is looking amazing. There is a little rubber band that is over here that I think we'll be able to just slide right on off. Yep, there we go. And then he is completely freed. He is in his natural state now. So I'm going to try and put a picture, maybe, just maybe of him on the screen there. Although it's very unlikely I'll be able to find it, but if I do, awesome if not you'll just see a picture of a row of next gen haulers with him absent i mean it's just how it is with all these haulers you know they exist you know they're there somewhere in the movie you know mattel or actually not mattel pixar animated the designs but not everything made into the movie or was seen in full rather so we're going to just jump right into the review that was nice it came off super easy there and i didn't have to use like a thousand newtons of force. So John here's got a nice little smile. Now we're going to compare him to Paul Conrev's hauler, which I just want to make this comment. They called the next gen bumper safe hauler on the package Ponchi Wipeouts hauler. Now Ponchi is obviously the Cars 1 and Cars 3 stock car for bumper safe. They really should have called it Paul Conrev's hauler or even better 
named him like they did with Synergy. Sometimes I feel like there are just so many different people running Mattel. You got the people that call like team cars by the sponsor, like people who say Chief Chick. Or then you have people that call the Dynaco Chief Roger Wheeler. Like there's just two different kinds of people in this world. I'm definitely the type of person that names their team members. But anyways, they do have the same exact expression. They are also the same exact model, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know what? A lot of these piston cut models are going to be the same as with the racers, pitties, crew chiefs, etc. I would have liked if they changed up the expression though. Now the best thing I definitely prefer. Ooh, I thought there was like, what's going on right here? There's like a thing of clay. It's not a chip because it's raised off the paint. It's like, I don't know what that is. Oh well, it's really no big deal. Let's see if I could try and remove it real quick. It's like some extra paint that like got on there. Oh well, maybe I'll try and get it off later. But anyway, the best thing about him and why I like him better than Paul's hauler or the bumper save one is that he's this two-tone. Like he looks amazing in this green and yellow paint scheme. You have the yellow going right down the middle here with the Synergy logo on the hat, which just looks really elegant. It's simple and it gets the point across. Looks great. The rims are looking really nice here. You have the green with the white or yellow trim. You have the yellow trim also right here. And now we can see the hexagonal pattern that starts right at the windshield there. It's not up here on the hood. It starts back here. Although actually, hmm, that's interesting. I can barely see a little bit of the pattern right here. If you get the lighting just right, you can kind of see it right there, but it's definitely not over here. So that's really interesting how they faded it in. Then you have the Synergy 5 logo, which is really cool, and how it kind of looks like the G from Synergy, but it's actually the 5 for Eric's number, so that looks cool. You got some vents up here. This hat is plastic, but everything else is mostly metal. And the back's pretty basic, but you know that's how they all are. And then you have the hitch for the trailer. No mud flaps, but that's how the next gens are. They have completely enclosed wheels, so they don't really need mud flaps. So he's looking awesome. I really like that two-tone, like I was saying. Now moving on to the trailer, this part is obviously plastic. And I like that they included the Synergy logo right there. Because if you look at Paul Conrad's hauler, that part is just completely blank. So it's nice that they added a little design to that. I really do like that. And of course, now you can see the hexagonal pattern a lot more prominently. Although still not as prominent as on the packaging. Of course, you have the yellow two-tone green on the bottom and top. And yellow on the top sides there little black box there. I don't know what that is for, but it's there. You have this yellow trim again with the five, and then you have Synergy above it. You also have some blue and different shapes of hexacons right there. Really nicely done. If the light just hits the right, you can really see those hexagons, and they're actually raised off the paint. They're a texture, so that is awesome. Actually, these are octagons. Wait, no, never mind. They're hexagons. I can count. I learned geometry. I was like, are those eight sides I see? No, nah, there's only six. Hexagons, they are. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. I feel like I say that every time I like do something silly. I'm just like, I'm tired. You know, like I say like somebody's name wrong. I'm tired. <laughs> it's true, though. There you have the Synergy logo again. You have the five, which I don't know. It looks pretty cool from both sides, but yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Same thing on this side. And on the back here, you also have some nice detailing. Of course, they put the taillights in here, up and down. Five, Synergy. You even got some of the hexagonal logo up top there, but not here, only there. And he does have a license plate which reads P09-14C. So whatever PC, those are some guy's initials along with the birthday of September 14th. I don't know who that would be, but it's gotta be somebody. 
And then you have this green bumper, which is really strange because it doesn't really match the paint scheme of Synergy along with those yellow boxes. So I don't quite understand what that is. If we were to compare that to the equivalent on bumper save, I mean, there's just nothing there. You have actually <laughs> the same exact license plate number, but nothing down there that's colored weirdly. So that's interesting. I wonder if that is you know, intentional or if it was kind of a mistake. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to open up the hauler now. Open it up from down here, by the way. You can touch that bumper there and it's much easier to pull out that way. So we can fold down this here. Take a little look inside. So we can see some equipment. You have a toolbox. Obviously it's all painted or it's a sticker. It's not actually physically there. You have a tire, some rope or whatever, like a car jack, a cone, a green cone. So I like that they colored everything to make sense with Synergy, because if you look at Bumper Save, that's what they did as well. They made it all blue and red. So that's really cool that they do that. I mean, that's some nice attention to detail that sometimes I feel like Mattel just doesn't do. But with these haulers, they actually do a nice job. There you have the support down there, which doesn't really touch the ground, but we can pretend we can have Eric drive on up there, kind of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna go to the floor of the 500 now. Reconnect the hauler. And then bam, there you go. I like that a lot. I always like the playability of this and just, you know, you can actually drive him around a little bit. And maybe he'd uh, be generous enough to give Lane Locke a ride too. Maybe a ride home, because he got fired. <laughs> But anyways, that is all for John Halstead himself. Definitely one of the best haulers in a long time. I'm really happy about this guy. And even though I was a big fan of Ponchi Wipeouts, oh my God, the next gen bumper save hauler, I think this one tops it just because I love the paint scheme. And it even tops Gail Balford, the Jackson Storm hauler, who if you guys don't remember, it's actually a different model. He's like the Mac of next gens. He's a slightly different model from all the other ones and all the other ones that are likely to come. I doubt they'll ever use this model for anybody else besides Gale. And just for laughs and giggles, here is a classic Cars 1 hauler for Trunk Fresh. Because they kind of have similar colors, kind of. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Team Synergy expands today. Of course, Lane Lock, it's the Cars 3 stock car, and then you have Eric Breaker, or as some people still call him Spiky Phillips for the next gen. And if I am not mistaken, this is one of the first new sponsors, one of the sponsors that got introduced in Cars 3 to receive a hauler, Blinker being the first. So hopefully maybe we can get an intersection hauler of some sort, a carbon cyber, who knows? A triple dent, I would be down for any hauler, honestly. I don't care what it is, I'm going to love it. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on John Halstead, and let me know if you've been able to find him, because to my knowledge, he has been kind of rare. I'll see you guys soon for an unboxing of Color Changers and a little demonstration. I'm really excited to bust open some Color Changers and see how they work now after being introduced to the line 10 years ago. See you guys then. Bye now.